Hello, hello, <laughs> again, um, to another uh, different tutorial. This time is not a, a lens or a actually camera, but it's just how to make a tool to discharge the flash capacitor in a camera or a flash. I mean, just a speed light or some, something because uh, it can be pretty, maybe for some people, can be dangerous to, if they touch the full charge uh, capacitor. So, um, but this time I will just show it in a Nikon D200 because it was easy for me to <coughs> come into the, um, the capacitor terminals. So uh, let's have a look inside. It's quite easy to come in. I just uh, take off the f back part, the bottom part, and um, I already take off the uh, rubber thingy here, which is attached to the with double additive tape. Quite annoying because uh, the uh, rubber gets very uh, gumby. So we need a uh, JIS 00. zero. A screwdriver and uh, remember one thing attach for the uh, static so let's go in we begin over here at the left side on the back <coughs> there's one two three four five six something underneath here <coughs> here seven eight nine ten 12, 13, 14, 15 screws to come into the camera. Uh, yeah. So, but let's go ahead. It shouldn't take that long. There's nothing special about this. <clears throat> it could be any camera digital camera with built-in flash um, this I just use an example <clears throat> of uh, how to actually discharge the capacitor with a tool homemade tool there's nothing really special about it it's just I think you can get it in the hardware store where they have <clears throat> electric parts or maybe a electronic store uh, there are only a few of them left I know but uh, I think you can buy these things on the internet or maybe get some used control lamp resistant whatever that we need for that tool here I will come into more details when I have um, disassembled the bottom and the back part because then I can show you how things are put in for testing it's not dangerous I mean just be <laughs> I mean yeah everything is dangerous if you do it wrong but in this case is not really. Remember the on an Egan two hundred and three hundred, there's a hidden screw under this uh, for the thumb. And there are three here on the right side of the camera. <clears throat> Every time one pick take a Nikon camera apart, uh, <clears throat> I need to to uh, take off the the rubber, and the sticky tape will get even more, no, less sticky after that. There's on the front here. 
there's also one tiny so now that was part of it so uh, I can just take off the bottom part which we have here and underneath there is some flex cables which I could take off but um, it's not really necessary because if I only want to go into the flash I just keep a hand on the front and on the back and peel off the uh, front rubber on the yeah you said right side looking from the front there are two screws underneath here and the other one is here so now what I'm gonna do maybe I should zoom out a little just a little yes I just uh, loosen at the same time I'll hold down here I will just uh, try to to loosen the back a little but just as much as I can actually peel off the side here so I have it here because uh, then I can still have a good grip on the camera now the uh, flash capacitor sits somewhere here it's a huge one and the terminal sits up here there you can see one and there is one deeper inside maybe it's difficult to see on the camera yeah but there are two a black and a red cord is connected to the flash now how to do it actually well we need some parts I've already made me one here uh, which I have uh, I use a resistant uh, it's a huge one six watt and uh, I use a 1.3 kilo ohm, kilo ohm and this one is only one kilo ohm but still six watt it doesn't really matter but the point is how can I know if the if the capacitor is fully discharged well in my uh, little thingy here I put a, a control lamp which is I think it's called a in English I think it's called a neon um, control lamp because it's not a real lamp as a normal lamp with a uh, Wolfram um, uh, filament but this one is only two elect uh, electrodes or something I don't know what the name is but it's only filled with gas kind of I think it's neon or something and there is no connection between those two only gas so this therefore I have uh, yeah I actually make a diagram over it so this is how it looks the control lamp, lamp is up here and the resistance is down here and the lamp is just put parallel over the resistance and then it goes down to the terminal here so it looked like something here um, it shouldn't be that hard to get a uh, control lamp like this there is also a small resistance in this control lamp I don't know how big it is but um, the point is that the it's the resistance that discharges the uh, the um, flash capacitor not the lamp 
if you just use a normal lamp you will completely yeah it's not the correct of way of because you have no control over how it's it's discharged so therefore I made this one and I can I will show you how it actually works uh, you can go and take a look if you can find some of those small control lamp this is a 220 volt um, AC and the uh, this the uh, this uh, I mean the <laughs> what's it called yeah resistant is um, somehow just put in parallel over the two, the two terminals here and those two and then you could make two cords uh, to put into the camera or flash but this is how it actually looks when I try to I mean instead of just discharge it with a screwdriver which can be yeah so you damage the thing but first I have to uh, charge the capacitor so I just put in the the battery in my camera and um, turn it on yeah it says some error it doesn't really matter um, and uh, hopefully I can get a yeah a flash wait a wait a two three seconds then turn off the camera and take out the battery close the flash doesn't matter <clears throat> but if I put the uh, capacitor I mean the resistance I mean my tool here <laughs> into the uh, two terminals um, I will have look for the uh, for the bulb here it will make some small uh, maybe you can see it if I can catch the two cords see we try it again but then I have full control over how the flash is actually come on wait a little do it again and then it's fully charged out and then we do it again because I've just uh, bent the one leg here so uh, because the one sits higher than the other that is of course lower so I put it in and look for the lamp the little tiny lamp it will blow mm, not really that you see it, it burns I mean it okay do it third time So, that should be there. <coughs> and then I go to the middle so it's maybe easier to see. There's too much light. See? And now I'm actually sure it's, it's uh, fully discharged. And it works. So, I mean, I could just show you if I do just take a simple tool and put it in there shouldn't be anything left yeah no bang no nothing and the flash is still working I mean I guess <laughs> so and then we have it yeah you see So this is how it's done. I mean, it's not necessary to assemble the camera, but uh, this is how it's done. Um, but you can also do it by uh, 
making this <coughs> small interesting tool so um, yeah that was it so hope you uh, can use the content bye bye